Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Reviews. So today we are doing the My Father's Fonseca Mexico cigar. So what happened is yesterday I was doing a review and then Eric was smoking the cigar. And he's like, I'm going to be like Tony. I'm going to rate it by score. And I want to know what your score is. I said, okay, fine. You smoke it today. I'll smoke it the next day. And then, you know, when we release it, we'll know whether or not we have the same score. So I'm going to smoke this today. And hopefully you guys will see his score. The way I score it and see my score. And see if we're similar. Or different. We never know. Okay. So let's take a look at the cigar. Right now, the Fonseca by My Father's Addition MX uses a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, of course, duh, and binder and filler from Nicaraguan, uh, grown in Garcia's family farm. Okay. And basically, it was replacing the original Nicaraguan shade Corojo 99 Rosado leaf that was on original Fonseca. The size is 6.5 by 56. MSRP is $13. They come in a box of 20, so 260 per box. And they come in like, you know, four different sizes. One of them is six by 60. It's quite big. So we'll find out how this cigar is. Let's get started. Mm. Well, outside kind of smell like dirty food. Inside smells like a dirty food plus chocolate plus sweetness. Go figure. <laughs> All right, let's get a cutter. All right. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Oh, draw. Wow. It's woodsy. It's like cocoa. Has a little bit of saltiness. A little bit of fermentiness. A little bit of earthiness. That's what I got. Let's light it up. Enough. <clears throat> I'm kind of excited about the cigar. Like I, when I saw the like the green packaging and stuff like that, it kind of gets me. Like I don't know, the 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 the, the theme is nice. So it kind of make me happy smoking the cigar. We'll see. Even though I usually don't like cigar this big, a six and a half by fifty six, quite big. So as you can see, the ribbon was green. Theme is like a green and red. It's almost like Christmas kind of thing. Maybe you can smoke this for Christmas. It's 
All right, Woodsy. A little bit of saltiness. A little bit floral. A little bit like paprika pepper-ish. I want to say it's a little bit of creamy and a little bit mineral. Okay, pepper starts to warm up. Pepper starts to come up. There's a little bit of coffee in there too. All right, let me smoke one third and we'll be right back. Mm. All right, I mean, first third, nice ash. It, it, it just fell down, so. Now, the cigar burns really nicely, obviously. Um, the taste, it seems like they are... All right, let, let, let's start with the flavor, right? I get woodsiness, I get mustiness, I get a little bit of sweetness, I get earthiness, a lot of earthiness. I, I get coffee and cocoa, okay? And a little bit floral. Now, <clears throat> I think the ratio they try to do is somewhat different. Rather than pushing out that cocoa sweetness with saltiness and mustiness, they're pushing for that earthiness. So that earthiness kind of kills that nice musty sweetness from the San Andreas. Now, does it come in? In the end, yeah, it does, right? It does come in. It does have, still have cocoa at the end, some something like that, and it still have that leftover sweetness. <clears throat> but like their focus are slightly different. So if you're like somebody that likes earthiness, like like those, those earthy floral kind of taste, you will find that this is in a different dimension a little bit. It's like oh, it's not the typical cocoa sweetness and, and, and mustiness of the San Andreas, this is slightly different because I think in this particular one, that Nicaraguan flavor are stronger compared to that San Andreas. So it still tastes good, but you got to put your mindset differently. It's like, I am not, I'm not focusing on that San Andreas. I'm focusing on that Nicaraguan, right? Is it a good cigar? Yes. It still tastes really good, but I don't particularly like earthiness, so I had to wait for that earthiness to get away to get the flavor that I like. But it's by no means a bad taste or anything. I just don't like that particular flavor. Like, you know, some people don't like cilantro. You know, I I don't really like earthy. It feels like I'm tasting dirt. And that dirt really covers up a nice... Because the, 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 the cocoa and the sweetness and stuff like that, came afterward, it feels like I'm eating dirty candy. You know, you get the dirt for out first. Oh, finally, it's candy. Okay, good. You know, it's like that. So, so far, so good. Uh, I think it's not a bad cigar. I think I might have smoked a little bit more than one third. It's really hard to tell with this, uh, like, odd, odd size. Right? So, let's take a look at the band. Hope I don't burn myself. I should flip that over. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Today, I'm using a different ashtray because the other ashtray, when I smoke, put it down, they tend to touch ash and then you stick on it. And then I like, hold, I'm smoking ash. But <clears throat> there you go. The addition MX band orange, red, green. I like this color. This is like that Garcia, Garcia color. Kind of. I like that. It looks nice. It looks nice. Looks nice. Very like to the point, Ben. I like it. And came up came off easily too. So So let's get through second third real quick. And because I kinda in, already in second third, so it's not gonna be a long second third. And we'll be right back. See if uh, the, the flavor changes, flip back or something like that. Because <clears throat> it's because a guy I wish the flavor flips. So I get those sweetness first and maybe some earthiness at the end. I don't care. But we'll see. You're back. All right. Second third is done. Um, I'm in a dilemma here. 
Because I don't like the earthiness. But I like the flavor. And I was talking to Eric. I was like, you know what this tastes like? This tastes like when you have a dog at home. You love the dogs. You love the dog to death. But it's one of those situations like, I love you so much, but why are you so ugly? But I still love you. I, mean, I love the way you're ugly. And this is like that. It's like, you got an earthiness, you don't like it, but that combination kind of works. So it's like, I don't like earthiness, but somehow I like this flavor. But why are you so earthy? But I just like that flavor. I keep taking the draw. I like it. I don't understand it. This is like the reverse. Like the Nicaraguan shines more, way more than the, the, the San Andreas. But it works. That earthiness, that pungentness make the San Andreas flavor in a way shine in a different way. It's... It's, you still taste the cocoa, it still taste the saltiness, still taste the sweetness, but it's like, it's different. It's different in a way that I actually like it. I don't know. It tastes good. And that flor floralness is just right in between. So earthy, floral, cocoa, salty, sweet. I don't know why. It's one of those weird things that you knew individually something's wrong with it. But together, it works. It works. I don't know. I like it. I like it. And I can't stop puffing on it. I cannot stop puffing on it. It should, I, it's something normally like this. I should say that this is a boring cigar. It... it, it but then, but then that flavor is together itself tastes great. I'm confused. But I'm going to say that's a good cigar. Because I can't stop puffing on it. Here's the band. I like the color theme. You know, it's like the other, my father's, you know... Garcia, Garcia, or uh, uh, you know that 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 line of things. I can't think of the name right now, but you know what I'm talking about. Typical of my father's band. Really colorful, peach green and stuff like that. Yeah, I like it. But why put a face on it, man? That's just creepy. I just I just don't like people putting their face on there. I know you want to honor people. You want to like ah, you know, it's them, blah blah blah. But like, it's just weird, man. Just weird with a face on it. Okay, but yeah. It gets them uh, the information through on Sega. Nice band. I like it. So we're down to the last there. And this is like a medium, medium plus. Um, it will feel heavier as the bigger gauge you go because there's few of them that are quite big in gauge. So because how much it is, you're actually taking more. Even though individually they are not that strong, but as you're taking more of the cigar, you got to feel a little bit. All right, you gotta feel a little bit. It's a good cigar. So I'm gonna finish up the last star and then we go to summary. Be right back. Finished. So, um, it's a good cigar. I enjoyed it. Relaxing, good, full of flavor. Full of weird, earthy, chocolatey flavor. It's just weird. It's just, it's good because it's weird. It's different. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's, a attempt in something different that makes this particular San Andreas taste relatively awesome. So I don't know. I I I, I was gonna complain about it, but the more I smoke it, the more I like it. The more I smoke it, the more I think it's interesting. The more I smoke it, the more I think it's different different than all the other San Andreas. It's actually nice. So, with that being said, with the smoke time that we're getting, I'm giving this cigar. 15 and a half 15 and a half i think this this cigar i i wouldn't and I, now that i smoked there you know it's 15 and a half i'm totally okay with that right i know it's 13 but i'll pay more for this if they had a mock-up 15 and a half sure i'll smoke it it's it's not bad i like it i like it medium medium plus interesting flavor and and it's 
I'm not even talking about individual flavor because the individual flavor that we point out is normal, right? You know, in Nicaraguan and San Andreas, that's the normal flavor. But the way that they harmonize together made the combination of that flavor interesting, tastes good. And, and I can't stop puffing on it. I just can't stop puffing on it. It's just really, really, really good. So with that being said, I recommend this cigar. It's pretty good. All right. Uh, big thanks to Eric sending me one to, to, to review. And um, I don't know. I don't know what score he gives, but I'm giving it a 15 and a half. Good cigar. Recommend it. Go try one. It's good stuff. Make me all like out of the words, you know, because it's one of those like, why are you so earthy? But I love you. Why are you so ugly? I love you. You know, it's it's contradicting good. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out our membership, check out our podcast, check out our swag, check out Eric's channel. And I will see you guys next one. Bye, guys.